but he's the lawyer, and the question is, who's the client, and what are the client's wishes, goals, and desires? But are you mentally preparing yourself to take this to the state Supreme Court? I, I, again, I think I answered this earlier with Brian. I, I think uh, what I am doing right now is exactly what the law requires me to do as a candidate who has uh, like a 0.4 tenths of a percent or 3 tenths of a percent, whatever it is, a difference. Uh, I have to let the law uh, operate as the law exists. That's, so that's what I'm prepared for. decisions on how far to pursue this? Is it you and you alone or are you making a contractual party? I think right now uh, the answer to that, Jason, is that uh, you're way too early to talk about decisions. It's a, it's a matter of making sure that the process as it exists is operating the way it's intended to operate. Well, who's in charge? You or the party? Well, I, I, I'm absolutely going to be involved, but there's going to be more people than just one, uh, ultimately. And we'll wait to see. You've got to let the legal process, you've got to let the, uh, the canvassing board, you've got to let the, uh, the recount proceed, and then let's have this discussion if there's something to talk about. Personally, I have enormous regard for Eric Magnuson, but he's the lawyer, and the question is, who's the client, and what are the client's wishes, goals, and desires? I, I was a little concerned yesterday uh, in Mr. Emmer's press conference when he was asked very directly if he would be making the decision, and he kind of implied, well, he would, but other people would be too. Uh, well, I can tell you unequivocally, um, in this, Charlie now in the lead counsel for the Dayton uh, recount effort, and I have one client, and his name is Mark Dayton. And in 2008, I had one client, and his name was Al Franken. So it's very important that the candidate come to grips with what has happened in the election. I run for office, and I lost, and it really, really hurt. And I bet it hurts even more when you come in a lot closer, and there's not that finality. But at some point, there has to be finality. Um, well, that's moving into the area of kind of speculation with regard to what uh, Mr. Emmer might or might not be thinking. Uh, I'm sure, Mr. Kanak, you've heard, as I have, that there's actually some disagreement among uh, Mr. Emmer's supporters about whether to contribute money and how far this should go. There are different views in the governor's office. By the way, he's got a book coming out to launch a potential look at the presidential race. The Republican leadership in the House and Senate might have views. So this is going to be a, a complicated uh, calculus for Mr. Emmer that may well go beyond. Would, would you agree with that? I would. And, and I think that's, those are the things that he has to factor in. I agree uh, with what David's saying in terms of uh, who you're you know, who ultimately the lawyers are answerable to. My, my sense when I heard uh, Tom saying that was that he was concerned in thinking about all of those different constituencies that he will have to think about as, as, uh, as this moves forward.